to guys i have a lot on my plate right now and i sadly would be pushing youtube to the back burner hi guys welcome back to the channel if you're new thanks for dropping by and if you're a returning subscriber I love you. Welcome to the most procrastinated video on my channel. There's a reason for that. But before we get into this video, quick disclaimer guys, you know and I know that I'm not a dermatologist. I'm just on here to share with you guys what I use for my skincare facial journey that worked and just give you a heads up as to how you can better your approaches to get better results or just share with somebody who needs this. Also, it's very important that I say, if you're here and you're looking for something that you're going to apply this night, wake up tomorrow morning with spotless face. Next. I'm waiting for you to leave here. Go. This video is not for you. All right. If you're here, that means you're ready to put in work. Let's carry on. Now, this video delayed because I needed to put timeline together, like I needed to know what worked, how I went about it, you know, those timelines were important so that I'll be able to share exactly what I did and how I went about it. Um, the first phase for me was discovering that my face was really getting bad. It wasn't the clearest of skins, but things got bad. And I realized that, okay, I needed to do something. And my natural instinct was DIYs. And most of the things I had at home. So I went into my kitchen. I did the turmeric. I did the potato, tomato, eyes, and all of that. It worked, but I realized that new day, new pimples. So I needed something that would put me a step ahead. The second phase was for me to see the dermatologist. And you guys, the first thing here was my mindset. Before I opted to see a dermatologist, I had done my mental evaluation and I knew that I was ready for this. And that reflected in my choice of dermatologist. I had to go for a dermatologist outside my city and that's because of the good review I found online and personal one-on-one -on -one reviews like what people have told me and that is Pure Touch not sponsored. This size didn't matter to me at all because like I said, I prepared myself mentally that I was ready for this and I was going to do all that is required of me. I frequented Guinea. I was going there at least like thrice a month. I was taking glutathione and my facial. So all those total to about two or three visits in a month, but it didn't mean anything to me at all because I knew what I was after. Personally, I read them good because language wasn't a barrier. They took their time to explain to you. They were never in a haze, at least not with me. So I think I'd read them good and I highly recommend. And the third phase, continuing with the recommended products. I was very consistent when it came to all these things because I was among those people that wanted miracle. But I realized that I was used to giving up. I knew the result of giving up. Let me not give up and see what changes this time around. And to my surprise, like, see for yourself. To my surprise, I saw results. I'm seeing results. And sometimes I still break out. Maybe due to stress, that time of the month, or maybe exposure to sun. But for the most part, I am better. And it keeps getting better. That's because of one thing, consistency, guys. I can't stress that enough. If you start off with one product and then you switch to another or you just stop because you're not seeing results, then what's going to happen? So I crave your indulgence. Just continue. Keep at it. And you'd be amazed at how much results you see over time. Just make this a part of you. Include it in your routine and let it just be what you do. I don't intend to make this video long for anything. So guys, let's just rush through it quickly. Some things you must note. One, seek professional help. You guys, these dermatologists, they went to school several years to study these things. You think it's a joke? This is their line. They know something about it so please seek professional help it's going to cost you but it's a good investment that you'll be glad you did they have years of experience so please by all means seek professional help number two please know your skin type well if you go to a professional like if you seek professional help this wouldn't be a problem for you because the dermatologist would know your skin type and would know what to recommend because some products are tailored to specific skin so if you do see a dermatologist it will take this stress off of you 
And the third thing is, guys, less is more. I can't even stress this enough. I was one of those people that if you saw my makeup table, you would wonder what's going on. But over time, I realized that I didn't need so much. Having the right products will save you having so many others. And the last, if not the most important, is please ensure to maintain good hygiene. I'm talking having clean beddings. I'm talking making sure that your makeup brushes are clean. That's very important because you're going to realize that after you do all of these things and this personal hygiene part is not well taken care of, your effort is just going to be vain. Oh, yeah. This is the chapter I'm going to show you what the daily routine for my face is. But before then, I thought to just show you what I looked like back in February or March 2021. Yes, guys, things were this bad. At this point, I think I was still doing my DIYs, but I was still the confident, happy, jolly, good fella blessing. I also forgot to mention that the very first step I took was to see a gynecologist, so this was just acne from hell, nothing hormonal. Proud moment. Honestly, guys, this just reaffirms that whatever I put my mind to make work, truly works that was me you can tell for yourself now slowly but surely so let me quickly show you my typical routine only that to keep playing i say i'm here for nothing but by your side i'm something else you guys my face wash and toner is from the La Roche Posay brand and when I said these products have stood the test of time they have I use just my hands most times and I only use my exfoliating brush once or twice a month and the pink one I think maybe two or three times a week This is off. Am I there yet? No. Progress? Hell yeah. Welcome back. Now on to some up close and personal moments. I might be pushing YouTube to the back burner. I know it hurts. I'm in the middle of exams right now. After that, I have IELTS exam to prepare for. Yes, have some jackpot plans. <laughs> you know, also I'm planning on what to do for my summer. Stay here, go somewhere, or maybe Nigeria even. Cause if you don't know, I lost my sister last year. Yes, some of you don't know. It was such a tough time, and I would digress a little bit. I don't think I fully um, come to terms with that. You know. Last time I was home, I saw her. So maybe if I go home and then see that she's not there, then it would really dawn on me that, yes, she's gone. I'm beginning to have anxiety, like I'm anxious for nothing. I just see and I'm having heart palpitations. Why? I used to think I multitask very well, but I'm beginning to see now that night. Nah, All these big grandma is just to tell you that I'm going for a while. I'm not going for so long. Let me tick one or two boxes and I'll be back. For max four Sundays. I'll be back here and we'll have the best of summer. My summer videos are gonna be lit. Be it here or if I travel. This concludes this video. Thank you for the love, the support. I appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you when I see you.